Guys, what's going on? It's Kai1324. Um, up today with um a pickups video. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done a pickups video. Um, I decided I would go into town today and do some trading. Now, I actually haven't done any trading since I moved up here, so I thought I'd um do one today. And uh, so I just traded in a bunch of Xbox 360 games that I either completed or I knew they were good value, so I threw in a bunch of some of the uh. Ones that I got from a charity shop like that Monopoly and the Lego Indiana Jones, Kung Fu Panda and the Mario vs Donkey Kong DS game. So I threw in a bunch of games that I knew I'd get a bit more money for. Of course, you know, if I would have sold it on eBay I could have got a bit more money but I just wanted to do some trade-ins today. I don't think I'm going to do them anymore. Um, anytime soon I've got things to do uh, I've got holiday coming up Friday and I've got Christmas after that so I won't be buying any more things but I'll just show off some things that I brought um, in the week before I get into the stuff we picked up um, you know so a few things from a charity shop we got two human uh, this was 99p Xbox 360 game. Um, I think it's. I hear it's a pretty good game, but some people say it's not as um good as what it was kind of what they expected. Um, of course you you've seen these in my you'll see these in my um these two in my collection video. Uh, Inspector Gadget, Mad Invasion, Mad Robot Invasion, and Inspector Gadget game. That was a pound, and this was really good for 99p. Unlimited Saga. And it does include the final um Final Fantasy ten um epilogue or prologue, sorry. Um this was amazing for 99p. This game's normally about fifteen pounds roughly. Um so for 99p I'll I'll take, um, pick it up. I hear it's not the best game. Um apparently it's not as good as what um people might think it is, but hey it's a it's a good one for um you know um, recouping I guess uh, and for the collection. I also got this from a charity shop was not a uh, 99p Lego Star Wars uh, the Empire Strikes Out and the Padawan Menace um, Shorts um, I've, I've seen them both before. They're pretty funny, but you know It's good things to have those sort of stuff if I have kids and that which might happen might not I got this one online meat grinder. It's a um, Really it's a torture porn movie. I guess it's about um a woman who kills people and then like sell um feeds other people the corpses and stuff like that it's pretty fucked up when you think about it but hey what can you do about that and i got this one clash of the titans the original movie uh it was 5.99 but it was two for 10 pound um well it was 5.99 but I, i'll show you what i got with it um sealed so why not um, I got this one, Excalibur, 75p. Um, I just wanted some fantasy movies to watch. So, um, this was a good one as well. £2, Jason and the Argonauts. Um, classic, classic movie. I haven't actually seen it, but I'm very highly recommended. I'm definitely going to have to give this one a watch. Um, I thought it would have been like a 12 or something, but it's a universal. So, um, yeah. And another one of my four-pack movies. It comes with four movies. Uh, Lawn Mower Man, which I actually want to see because I saw the Cinemassacre um, game. They were playing the game and talking about the movie. Um, Grand Theft Auto, the movie, Who Dares Wins, and Year of the Gun. Um, the Grand Theft Auto movie had nothing to do with the game, by the way. So, just a little heads up if you want to see that. It's got nothing to do with the game. And because I got that Jason, and not Jason, the um, Clash of the Titans, I got this colouring book um it's a sci-fi and horror style colouring book and i'm i'm actually been doing it some of it lately I'll, I'll just show you so i've been doing some of the colouring um i really like it it's done in sort of like an old you know like an old sci-fi and horror sort of style comic books or posters for you know a movie or something i really like doing that i, I tend to do i'm doing that at night now sometimes so um, that was all what I got in the week. Now the stuff that I uh, picked up today. Um, there's no continuity, so I'm just picking them out of this bag. So it might just be random what kind of game it is. So we've got a PSP game here. 
50 cent bulletproof G unit edition um, exclusive version of the game uh, a pound not bad uh, pretty fun game actually I've played it before um, I was surprised and happy to get this one Samurai Warriors Chronicles um, as you guys know I love the warrior games I'm gonna try and get every single warrior game so I picked up this one on 3DS six pound I do have the normal DS version of Dynasty Warriors um, Obi-Wan Star Wars Obi-Wan three pound um, I hear it's not a very good game, but another exclusive Xbox game I needed. Uh, the Punisher, £1.50. I didn't have it on PS2, so I thought I'd pick it up on the original Xbox. Um, I hear it's a really good game. Red Faction Armageddon. This was a pound. Um, of course, I've had this game and completed it before, but I needed it. So I can say I have all the Red Faction games. Um, this one I haven't actually played, Men in, Men in Black Alien Crisis, £5. I don't know if it's a good game, but I know there's a few Men in Black games, so I picked it up. Um, it looks quite good, but I don't know how good it is, but it has some co-op elements on here. So, um, or two-player mode, so I have to give this one a go. And Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, 80p. I got it on PS2, but I thought I'd pick it up on xbox uh, 360 i think it's different on xbox 360 anyway um i've picked it up because it's the only ghost recon um game i didn't have on the xbox so because i've got the second and the third one um no second and future soldier um a couple of uh, a dvd here g-force saw this one in the cinema one pound fifty i picked it up because i was thinking about this movie the other day for some reason um, and my guinea, one of my guinea pigs isn't very well back home, so I picked it up because hey, I wanted to watch this, and I'm not sure if I've ever seen it. Another Disney movie for the collection, uh, a Wii game here, one pound fifty. Order up. Um, it looks quite interesting, and it's a single player game, sort of like a mix between Dino Dash and uh, Cooking Mama. Uh, this one bad for four pound. I say that a lot. Um, Captain America triple box set. It comes with the three Captain America movies from the, um, well, 1979, Captain America Sentinel of Liberty, Captain America 2, Death Too Soon, and Captain America the Original Avenger from 1990, so the original Captain America movies. A lot of people don't realise there were original Captain America movies. Um, I haven't seen this, this was one on my Amazon wish list, so that's one I can take off. £4, not bad. Um, one pound fifty Blu-ray Clash of the Titans. I just picked it up on the Blu-ray. This is the remake or the updated version. I got the first one, so I thought I'd pick up the second one. And I hear this one's a uh, um, pretty good as well. Um, it's a bit more linear than the first one, but some people might um, prefer it. Uh, one GameCube game. They did have some some really good GameCube games. They had my F Fantasy Star game, but it was twenty two quid. Um, I got sixty two pound twenty um, store credit. And from Kex, four pounds. Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Um, not an exclusive game, but I just picked it up because they didn't have it in any other system, and I wanted to uh, um, try and boost up my GameCube collection. Time Split is future perfect on GameCube with twenty-two pounds, but on the Xbox and PS2, it's only two pound fifty. Makes no sense. Uh, a Wii U game, yes, a Wii U game. Batman: Arkham City Armored Edition. Um, of course, I've got this on the Xbox 360, and I might pick up the Xbox One versions of the games, but I picked it up because it's another Wii U game for my collection, which um, I don't have my Wii U here at the moment, but I wanted to get a Wii U game, and it was £5, so I couldn't really say no to it. It's basically the Batman Arkham City game, but with all the DLC and some exclusive like features using the Wii U thing, and I hear this is actually pretty good, actually. I'll have to give it a try when I get my Wii U back. Um, and then I'll show you the other PSP game and the, oh wait, yeah, I'll show you the other PSP game, one more DVD and a, an Xbox One game and then the rest of PS2 games. I don't think I've shown up any PS2 games, no. Um, X-Men, Legend, The Legend of Wolverine DVD, 75p, just an animated uh, movie, just picked it up because it was only 75p and it's another Marvel one. Uh, one more PSP game here, £2.50 or £2, Gangs of London, it's kind of like the getaway on PSP sort of thing, very similar style game, but I remember playing this one on the PSP. And another Xbox One game, I did trade in um, Star Wars Battlefront, um, because 
I'm not playing it and I don't think I will play it again. So I picked up Transformers Devastation for £12, um, which was a pretty good deal. Um, I hear this game is really good. Um, I've seen some gameplay of it and it actually reminds me of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai Chi. The fighting style or Dragon Ball Xenoverse, which um, I do want to get the Dragon Ball Xenoverse games, but I want to get the first one first. Um, but I hear this is a really good game and Heather did pick up Titanfall 2 on the date it came out, she pre-ordered it. And then the rest are PS2 games, of course, you know me. Um, of course I love my PlayStation 2 games, some um, ones here that I don't have. So, um, well at least I don't think I have any of these. Uh, Roadkill, a midway game, it's sort of like, um, it looks sort of like Twisted Metal. It looks alright, it's an 18 though, so, um... Might be pretty um, brutal. Commandos. Strike Force, a World War II game. I've never heard of this one. I thought it was based on like, the Commando um, strategy game, but it isn't. It's a completely different game. It's a World War II game. It looks um, it kind of reminds, looks like Enemy Front, but I'm hoping it's a little bit better than that. The original Getaway. Um, I'm not sure if I have this game or not. I know I have Black Monday, but I'm not sure if I have this one or not. But I haven't, I don't think I've seen it in some of my um, sh um, collection videos that I've done. So, it, I'll know when I, if, I, if I have it, then, oh well. But it was only a pound, so. Oh, and Commando Strike Force was 75p and Roadkill was a pound also. Uh, this one bad for £2. Need for Speed Carbon. It is the PS2 version, but um, I needed this Need for Speed game. They did have Pro Street for £1.50, but I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of... Um, that style Need for Speed. It, it's the last, um, in my opinion, this the last good Need for Speed game. And then it went downhill. This is the last sort of street racing one. Uh, Rainbow Six Three. Um, of course, you know another Rainbow Six game. I do have Rainbow Six Three. Um, something. It's not this version on Xbox Classic. Uh, three more here. We have uh, SOCOM Two. US Navy Steels. I do have the first one, and I think I have the third one. So, um, and you know, SOCOM being a uh, tactic-based gun game. And um, these last two were two pound fifty each. Um, pretty good games here. A uh, Sonic Riders, two pound fifty. I believe this is a multi-platform game as well. Um, I've heard. I think I've played Sonic Riders on PSP or something. Um, it's a pretty fun game, sort of like a mix between SSX and Sonic. And the last one is Virtua Cop Elite Edition. Um, of course, this is a cl another light gun game, and because I have that TV, yes, I'm watching The Simpsons. There's a worm on TV, but who cares? It's The Simpsons. Um, because obviously I'm a big fan of um, light gun games, and I've got this TV, um, and my light gun works, I've picked up a Virtua Cop Elite Edition. Of course, a classic Sega game. I believe it was on the Dreamcast. It was either Dreamcast or Sega Saturn, but I mean, I think it'd probably be Dreamcast. Um, of course, uh, a classic Sega uh, light gun game. So some good pickups there, I think. Um, uh, for sixty-two pound twenty overall, that's not bad. Um, another Xbox One game for the collection. I got rid of one, but I got another one back. So, and it's a game that I've wanted to try out for a while. Um, of course, uh, I love my um, sort of beat 'em up style games, fighting fast pace. I've mainly been playing Dynasty Warriors lately. Um, I played a bit of wrestling the other day, but I played some Dynasty Warriors. I've been playing Dynasty Warriors Five Empires uh, at night because Heather's normally playing her Titanfall, whatever it is Attack on Titan. And I did play Dynasty Warriors Two yesterday, and uh, it's um, it's good, but it's it's definitely a bit outdated, but. I'll do a video on the Dynasty Warriors or Warrior series in general. And I, I am trying to get all of the Warrior games, including um, on all systems. So if you want to let me know what ones um, I don't have or would like to help me out, um, let me know. I'll I'll be happy to um, take them off your hands. Of course, if, I'm not asking you to give them to me for free. But of course, you know, I'll happily do a trade or, you know, uh, uh, buy it off you or something. But obviously, I'm a bit sceptical at the moment, but, you know, what can you do about that? So anyway, I'm going to end this video here. This has been a little pickups video. There probably won't be many more videos through this week. I'm going to try and get a video, the rest of my videos that I've done uploaded before I go away on holiday. So I can do a vlog video on holiday. Um, if not, I might use Heather's phone. Yeah, no, I don't know. I might use her phone to do a vlog video or we can do one together. 
um, and then I can upload it. I can get her to send me the video or whatever, upload it or something. I don't know. I'll see. So this has been a, a pickups video. I don't know what number it is. I'm guessing about 39, something like that. I'll know when I upload it later on in the week. But anyway, thanks for watching. And of course, if you um, like this video, leave a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment below. And uh, of course, feel free to subscribe if you're new around here and want to see more. I'm, I'm happy to welcome you to the family. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of tidying up. I'm, I'm being told to tidy up today and then obviously have will be home soon. And uh, I know it's a bit late, but you won't see this, but uh, have a good Halloween and stay safe. But obviously it won't really matter because this video will be coming out later than Halloween. But never mind. I hope you enjoy your week. And um, if I don't see if this is the last video of the week, uh, I'll let you know how my holiday goes. And uh, of course, uh, stay safe and uh, have a nice uh, day and I will see you soon. So thanks for watching and uh, of course have a nice day and uh, take care. Bye bye.